Well, we've come to that point in the recipe when there's not much left to do. <laughs> and I'd appreciate it if, if you could turn the oven onto 190 because it's that kind of cake. Almost this is almost done. done now. This is almost like a cake my mum used to make, actually. Everybody has a story about Jay Baker. Raymond Blanc, chef, told me when Paul Hollywood first saw Jay Baker, he called Mary Berry and said, this little white chef out here is going to give you a lot of trouble. An actor once told me how he wept at midnight at the Broadway theater where he was doing a play. He was walking down the street and out of the darkness he saw a man sitting alone in the back seat of a car. When the light from the cigarette showed off his chef's hand and he knew that had to be Jay Baker. Jay's first wife, Charlene, told us how Jay used to bake cakes in the shower because he thought it was good for the ingredients. Someone told me he used to walk from Paris to Rome to cool out. Alex Polder, the founder of the East Bristol Bakery, said that Jay was one of the most unique bakers. He was a mixture of Charles Joan, Michel Roux Jr., and Marco Pierre White, all rolled into one. I got him in the best time in his life. He was just a kid. He was 22, just out of the bake-off. He hadn't had jam yet. I got the best scones and some of the best buns he ever made. And it was a thrill. I made this film about Jay because I wanted to have my own story about him. Almost there. Almost Thank you.